All right, this is the 2000 Chevy Express um, Explorer model conversion van. It's a high top uh, luxury conversion. It's blue with uh, tan accents and a tan interior. Um, as you can see, it's in great condition, tinted windows, um, custom wheels, uh, running board. Uh, you can see these rear tires here have a ton of tread left in them. And they're some sort of a, looks like more of an off-road or a snow tire. Then these front ones here are just pretty standard, but they've also got plenty of tread on them, it looks like. Um, we'll give you a quick walk around. Paint's in real good condition. I mean, it's got, it's pretty standard to be expected for a, you know, it's age, but uh, paint's in great condition, no major chipping, uh, just a few dings here and there from parking lot doors and, and whatever else. Um, it has a uh, heavy duty tow hitch and a seven pin hookup for a trailer brake system and it's got trailer brake control. Uh, as we come around, notice the uh, running boards are aftermarket and custom. Uh, it also has keyless entry and remote start. So we're going to start it up here for you guys and uh, take a look inside. So there she starts up. Uh, exhaust sounds real good. It's quiet. It's deep. This, uh, this van has a Chevy 350 motor in it, which is quite possibly one of... Yeah, it sounds good. Quite possibly one of the most common motors on the planet. It's just a total workhorse. Um, we're going to see it's locked here. We're going to open it up. And as we come inside, it's got a beautiful interior. Um, in order to get the accent lighting on, we got to put the keys in real quick. Roll that forward. Here we go. Um, quiet. The radio works great. Has aftermarket speakers. CD player, tape deck, and the tape deck is great because you can pop in a tape adapter and run your iPod if you want to. Uh, as you can see, the dash is immaculate. It's not cracking. It's not fading. It is shiny and beautiful. Um, there's the odometer right there. As you can see, it has uh, 180,000 miles, which for this kind of motor is just about getting broken in. Um, it's got the uh, custom limo style interior shut this door real quick as you can see um, unlike most vans this has uh, leather upholstery which is just super swank it's got pockets and storage everywhere um, these are your switches there's two different sets of accent lights we've got the one above the window and then the ones on the roof those are controlled by these two switches and then this here is cabinet lights for your entertainment stuff. This is a uh, VCR, 13 inch color television, and a DVD player. Um, and then this other switch here is for the rear CD player. And this is run by uh, uh, these headphone jacks here. There's headphone jacks at all the seats with switches and whoever's got their headphones in can switch between the rear TV and the rear CD player. So if you have um, uh, disagreements or uh, families with lots of different tastes, that's good. It's got rear air, uh, front and rear air. The rear air works. Hear it? And then front air, the AC blows cold. Uh, the rear air is not as cold. It probably just needs a charge because the front is ice cold. Uh, we've got beautiful blinds. Uh, great for privacy if you're going to spend the night in it somewhere. Uh, it has another one here, but I have it taken off right now because it wasn't necessary. The seats, as you can see, are just in great condition. Uh, also notice how quiet it is in here. Carpet is perfect, no stains. Um, I'll look this up for you. Yeah, carpet is just real clean. This has been a real well-kept vehicle. Uh, I'm a car guy and uh, I make it a point to change the oil every 3,000 miles religiously so the motor still runs smooth and strong. Uh, the sofa back here, if you hit this switch, there's a switch here and there's a switch in the back and if we hit this switch it uh, electronically folds down into about a queen-size bed. 
Um, it's very nice. You just stuff those seat belts on down in there. But uh, as you can see, there's a lot of room back here. Um, but uh, the thing I like about it as compared to my old conversion van is, you see how that pops down underneath? Um, some vans, it comes out from behind. And what that means is you don't have as much storage in the back, but because that middle piece folds underneath, you have about as much storage back here as you have in a, in a Suburban. Um, it's just, just great. Uh, there are lights in this thing everywhere, uh, above every seat, and you just tap them to get them to come on like that. Or you have front control up here where I can hit this switch, and all the lights in the van come on. You see that? So, uh, yeah, gorgeous van, um, real solid, real strong, and we're going to hit the road and uh, see what it sounds like here. Uh, show you guys how quiet it is on the highway and just what a solid ride it is. Uh, let's get some AC going here. Yeah. All right. As you can see, um, motor's got a lot of power. I uh, I pull a trailer with this uh, quite frequently, and it just does great. Uh, it's a great pulling vehicle. Uh, there's the trailer brake control right there. If you need it, you can adjust the sensitivity, and uh, it just pulls like a dream. Uh, if anyone's ever driven a Chevy or GMC with a 350 in it, you know it's a great motor. Um, just one of the most common motors on the planet. While we're waiting to pull out, I'll let you look around a little bit more. Uh, power, pretty much everything. It's got power seats. Um, with There's the controls. Um, now, one of the few problems with the van, uh, because I want to be as honest as possible, uh, is the seat is a little loose, and I think there's just a bolt missing or something, but uh, if you're handy with a wrench, you can probably fix that. Now, you can hear us accelerating. Motor just sounds great. It's deep. Um, we're already at 50 miles an hour. I've barely even laid into it. It actually does surprisingly well on gas mileage. I get about 15 on the highway, um, maybe more. I, I haven't checked it in a long time. But um, so as you can see, we've got no vibrations from the steering wheel. Um, the alignment is just great. I can just let go and keep going down the road and it's not a problem at all. Um, and uh, yeah, there's no major noise or vibrations. It's just a solid van. Um, we're going to set the cruise control here to show you that. That's about as easy as it is right there. Cruise control set and now we're going with no pedals. So uh, anyway. Uh, if you're going to Blue Book this, you need to go to NADA.com instead of Kelly Blue Book or KBB.com. Kelly Blue Book does not have um, Blue Book estimates for conversion vans. You'll find a Chevy Express and you'll find a 2000 Chevy Express, but you won't find the actual uh, conversion package on there, which makes a huge difference in the value of this van. Uh, if you know anything about conversions, um, a lot of what retains the value um, is the conversion model itself, uh, much like a much like an RV or a camper. Um, so go to NADA and uh, look up, or there should be a link on this eBay page, and uh, look up the uh, conversion model. Uh, this is a uh, Explorer high top, <laughs> as you can see. Uh, so anyway, I just want to thank you guys for checking out this video. Um, please buy my van and uh, buy it with confidence. I really hate to let this vehicle go. It is uh, by far one of the most luxurious and uh, enjoyable vehicles that I have ever owned. Um, so anyway, thanks for checking it out and let me know if you have any questions.